Hey everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to overclock your AMD CPU with Ryzen Master. In my opinion, this is much easier than going into your BIOS and manually changing the clock speed of your CPU. If this video is helpful to you, please subscribe and leave a like down below. One last thing, I won't be able to upload for about two weeks since I'm going on vacation. So the first thing to do is to download it, and I'll leave the download link in the description by the way. Just scroll all the way down and press download now. And you don't need any third party softwares like WinRAR to download it, so that's pretty good. It's a really easy download. You open it. Yes. Alright, it just popped up. So you need to press I agree. You gotta scroll all the way down. I agree. Yeah, yeah. Trust me, it's all safe. You can download it. And yeah, it pops up right here. And you can just press launch Ryzen Master. A yes, there's this warning sign here. Okay. And I'm actually gonna go here and pin to taskbar. Where is it? Pin to taskbar. Yeah, because I'm gonna be using it quite a bit. I'm gonna move it right here. All right, now, this is like the main thing. This is just some specs for your CPU, like some, your voltage, current speed, and then this is where you overclock. You need to press manual, and here are the numbers. It's kind of where it gets complicated. So what I recommend is, for your CPU clock speed, it can vary. Uh, I recommended I recommend having a either really good air cooler or having a AIO because AIOs are the best way to cool in my opinion. And so for the numbers, you can just open up a Google Chrome tab, search up your CPU. So in my opinion, Ryzen 5 3600 max clock speed. And that is 4.2 gigahertz. I would not recommend going over this because it's actually dangerous for your CPU. Uh, you can go over it. You can go to like 4.5, but it's not safe. So you can just search up your CPU, Ryzen 5 3600, 4.2 gigahertz OC settings. There's probably going to be something on Reddit. Yeah. Here. So you can just you can just search up some stuff on Reddit. That's typically what works because there's gonna be lots of people. You can even see in the comments what pe what works for other people. For me, uh, what I found works is 4.2 gigahertz and 1.35 volts. And this guy got a pretty similar um, result with 4.2 gigahertz and 1.33 vol volts. Um, so you can just use anything you find on Reddit as your numbers. And then you go back to, um, this, and then you put your numbers up. So 4.2 is 4,200, and you put this up to 1.35. And then you can press apply and test, and this will, uh, stress test your processor meaning it'll run your run your processor at 100 percent to make sure that it can actually handle it like that it doesn't get overheated and stuff so you can press apply and test and i will actually open my hardware monitor just to show that it's at 4.2 gigahertz and running at 100 percent yeah so it's being stress tested right now at 100 percent as you can see it's locked in at 4.2 gigahertz and where is the pad temperatures so right now it's at 73 degrees it's actually a pretty good temp for overclocking I have a 360 millimeter 
Oh, my fans aren't running right now. Maybe I should. All right, so yeah, when I started my fans, uh, went down quite a bit, and now the stress test is over, and it'll say apply and test success, and that's pretty much how you overclock. All right, if you've made it this far, thanks for watching.